Amazon is scamming you. Don't believe me? Maybe you should watch this video and see if they're doing the same thing that they were doing to me, to you. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So normally, I'm doing painting videos. That's pretty much what I do. Every once in a while I'll do a music video, which by the way, Camera Duet, YouTube, go over there. That's where we're doing music videos now. Side point, normally I don't do this kind of a video, but every once in a while something really kind of gets under my skin and irritates me and I want to do a video about it. And I told Amazon that I would do this if they kept doing this to me. First thing, I don't have any hard 100% proof that these guys are scamming you. Obviously they're not going to do that because they're not that stupid. But what I do have is the fact that I have common sense and I'm not doing it. And so there's only one other option. I'm either hacked consistently for a year and a half or someone else in my house is doing this and they're punking me, which neither of those things have happened. So there's at least one other option, which is Amazon is doing this. And it's very similar to something that AT&T did back in the day and they got sued for it. So I'm not gonna be surprised if Amazon gets the same treatment. So what are they doing? So the first thing that happened to me was actually finding this out by complete accident when I started kind of being a little bit more aware of my finances. So my wife and I started budgeting and I started trying to figure out exactly what we were spending because we, we realized we were spending a little bit too much on eating out and stuff like that. The normal thing that happens when you're trying not to spend a bucuro's amount of money on stupid things. So I started going back and started looking at my bank account statements and I started asking Tamara. I was like, hey babe, why are you buying so much stuff on Amazon? She's like, I'm not really buying that much stuff on Amazon. So I'm like, look, there's a $12 charge, there's a $16 charge, there's a $27 charge, there's a $4 charge, all this random stuff. And she's like, that wasn't me. And so I'm like, well, it wasn't me, so who was it? So I started doing a little bit of digging into this situation and I started finding some kind of really random weird things. One, a lot of the charges were like books, but they weren't even physical books that were being sent to my house. They were like digital books. I don't even read books online. I can't really read books on a tablet or on a phone or anything because it just, I don't, can't get into it. I like the physical book. So there'd be no instance in which I would actually buy a digital version of a book. Now, audiobooks is a different thing, but it wasn't an audiobook. It was just a regular book. And then some of them would be movies, but they would be Amazon digital. And so you can see on the actual bank account statement what they were. The other thing is they wouldn't send you an email about it. Because normally if you buy a product on Amazon, they'll send you a confirmation email. On these, they weren't sending me an email. And on the other charges, I was getting signed up for Epix and Spark, which is these new streaming services that Amazon had. And they were brand new and they just signed me up for it without giving me an email or even notifying me that they had done it. The only thing I got was a charge on my bank account statement. This was $60, $70 that they were charging me on a regular basis every month. Sometimes it wasn't that much a month and I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm canceling my Amazon Prime because I'm not doing this. I called them up. We don't know what's going on. That must be your TV doing it. So that was the, that was the thing that I got for a very long time was that it was the TV, it was my fault, blah, blah, blah. But they'd be very nice about it and refund you everything. But the only problem is you have to do what I am about to show you and sit on the phone for 51 minutes and tell them, hey, this is what's going on. Can you please refund me? It has been requested by you. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Sure, Chris. Have a wonderful day ahead. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, that was a 51-minute call. You have to sit on the phone with them for 51 minutes or an hour to get all that done. Yeah, let's do that every month. So if you want to call them up and sit there on the phone listening to bad background music, you can do that. Same thing that AT&T did was, hey, we'll charge you $5 extra on your bill every month and then you'll have to sit there and stay on the phone for an hour and then they'll, oh, that was just a, that was just a glitch in the system. Turns out they were doing it to everybody and they got sued for it. That was AT&T. I kind of think Amazon's doing the same thing. So if you call them up, the customer service people are very nice. Never had a single bit of problem out of the customer service people. They're very nice. And I don't legitimately think they know what, what's going on. I think it's the higher ups. I think it's a policy that the Amazon people are doing and they're trying to get more money out of people. Like they're not making enough money. Kind of how greed works apparently. 
So if you call up the Amazon people, they'll probably refund you, but you gotta call them up all the time. And I got sick and tired of doing that. So I finally started asking them, what's going on? Can you please tell me what's going on? And this was my answer. If you should have been canceled on your account. Well, I've called you guys like uh, probably a dozen times at this point and have you cancel things that I didn't buy and that your company ordered on my account and after I cancel my Prime, it just randomly gets signed back up again and it's not something I'm doing. And I've called you guys so many times that I've lost count how many times I've called you. So that's why I'm calling. Okay, so yes, the Prime membership is a auto-renewal membership. So it does auto-renews every uh, month. Yeah, that's, that, yeah that's, that's when you are a Prime member. When you cancel it, you shouldn't get reapplied for it. Okay, so I'm seeing here. Okay. But what I can have done because your prime member is active here, I can have the uh, $16.19 canceled and you will be refunded off that charge. So, is there any um, reason why this keeps happening? Because this is like so many times that this has happened. Okay. I've called you guys okay, and so it keeps happening. And I, I just need yeah, to know why. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, there, there are items on Amazon. If you click on them and uh, like such as Prime Video, there are items which come with free shipping. So if you click on them by mistake, you can actually renew the Prime membership. <laughs> anything from Amazon in like three months and it happens every single time regardless of whether you buy something or not because because of this problem because of this problem I've been avoiding and not buying from you because this kind of stuff keeps happening so I haven't been buying from you because of that reason okay I do understand Chris and I get that you're frustrated about this but let me go ahead to have this uh resolve and I guarantee you you would not be receiving any charges regards to Prime well yeah I, I appreciate that and I don't blame you for this situation but the last five people I've talked to not you specifically have said the same thing so I get that you're not responsible for this but your company is doing this so everybody's telling me the same thing and it keeps happening and it's just highly aggravating okay. Let me make a note of this on to your account so it can be visible to everyone and be escalated to the correct department to be resolved regarding your situation. So as you can see, they don't really know what's going on. Or they say they don't know what's going on. And I'm inclined to believe them because I don't think something like this would be something a regular customer service person would know. But I would imagine they're getting a lot of calls because every single person I've talked to about this has said that they're doing the same thing. They've looked on their bank account statements and they've realized they're getting random charges, $3, $16, $20 of just stuff they didn't buy. They have no idea what it is. They're not getting emails for it and they're just getting charged. But if you call them up, they'll give you a refund. But if you don't, they won't. The other thing that was happening is I would cancel my Amazon Prime account and then three, five days later, all of a sudden I'm signed up for Prime again. That happens so many times that I would call and get three months worth of charges refunded to my account. I finally called them up and started asking them about that situation. And here's what they said. Yes, sir. regarding that itself, uh, I was able to check uh, the email conversations that have been given to you. It seems that the previous agent who was canceling your subscription, he like chose an option that will be providing you with a refund, but your subscription will keep on happening sir like that means your subscription will have the benefits till the last date it should be and if it has not been cancelled by then it will get renewed automatically and i am admitting that that's a huge mistake from the previous agents and which we would not like to like go ahead with sir okay so hold on at least we have two options available sir like first we can provide you with a refund and you can still use the benefits of your prime subscription second we can end your benefits at that very moment. Like, uh, like I have asked my team to end the benefits right away. 
and that would be updated on your Amazon account within 24 hours. And once the benefits are ended, the auto renewal has auto automatically been ch- turned off, sir. So okay. Once the period ends, you'll not get, you'll not be getting any charges. Okay. So what you're saying is. There's an option when I call you guys and I say, hey, I don't want an Amazon account anymore. I want you, ca- I want you to cancel my mm-hmm. Prime account. You guys yeah. will cancel it when the yes, cycle is over. But then when the cycle is over, you're going to reapply my account. Even though I called you and said, hey, I don't want an Amazon account. You'll refund me for the, the thing. Previous agent, the previous, previous agent issued you a refund of your Prime subscription. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They, they issued you a, a refund of your Prime subscription, and after that, this was being uh, like, uh, let's suppose that Amazon was waiting for the cycle to end, and as soon as the cycle ends, it uh, gave you a prompt three days prior that yes, your subscription, your free renewal is going to end in another three to four days. So if you want to continue the benefits, you can just leave, uh, let it be, and if you want to can- get, get the tra- trial cancelled, you can just go ahead and raise a callback request with us or get it cancelled from your Amazon end. So apparently, according to them, they have a policy in which you say, hey, I no longer want Amazon Prime. And that means I no longer want Amazon Prime from right now in the past. Three days from now, I want Amazon Prime and I'm going to get signed up for it again. Apparently, I don't know. So the customer service agent, he was kind enough to kind of explain that to me, which is the first time in two years anyone has been able to explain it in that detail, which that's kind of a messed up policy. Like why would there even be a setting in which you get auto renewed in three days after you cancel it? And that's even a thing that can happen. To me, that's kind of par for the course for Amazon right now. This happened to me for six months where they would keep doing this and I would get annoyed be like, you know what? I'm gonna have to call them again and have them cancel that subscription because it's just sitting there and I don't want it. I never use it. And I've deleted my card off the account before and it randomly appeared again. So Amazon has completely lost all business with me. I don't care if I have to buy something more for more money and the product is more expensive. I will not buy it from Amazon. The main point of this video is to bring awareness to what's going on. Again, this is my opinion. I don't have any hard proof. They wouldn't give you hard proof anyway, but I can't definitively say here's exactly what's happening because all I can say is this is anecdotal evidence. I'm saying this is what's happening to me and all you can do is make sure it's not happening to you. So if you ask me, what do you, what, what does the solution foolproof that you can do that will keep you from getting charged by Amazon. Best case scenario, if you have a card that is on their account, or if you've put a card information into Amazon, probably gonna need to cut the card up because I've deleted my card off of that account, off of my Amazon account, and it randomly reappeared on the account and I didn't do it. So unfortunately, if you have one attached to Amazon, probably gonna have to cut it up, probably gonna have to cancel the card and get a new card because that's what's happened to me before. So if you ask me, That's the first thing you need to do. Second thing you need to do after that, stop using Amazon. Or maybe stop using Amazon and then cut your card up. Doesn't matter which they order. As long as you do those two things, you should be fine. Comment below if the same thing is happening to you because I'd be very curious to see how many people are getting the same treatment. And I really hope Amazon stops doing this because if they don't, I think lawsuits are gonna be coming. And I would imagine that's not something they want to happen. I'm not gonna sue Amazon because I don't wanna have enough time. Okay, I'm just gonna stop using Amazon and I'm gonna spread awareness about it. So again, comment below if the same thing is happening to you because I'd be really curious to see if it's more than just the friends of mine that have been noticing this. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this has been helpful and I will see you next time. Peace.